two vessels A and B contains mixtures of milk and water. The ratio of milk and water in these two vessels is 5 is to 2 and 8 is to 5 respectively. So there is one vessel which has got milk and water in the ratio of 8 is to 5, milk is to water. There is another vessel which has got milk and water in the ratio of 5 is to 2, milk is to water here is 5 is to 2, right. These two are mixed together to get a bigger vessel, I mean to get a new mixture. M dash is to W dash let's say. What is that ratio is the question. They are put in a new jar. So contents of both these are put into a new jar to form a new mixture. Find the ratio of milk and water the new mixture. How will I get the ratio of milk and water the new mixture unless I know about the quantities Q1 and Q2. Either the quantity should be given or the ratio of the quantities has to be given. Are you able to follow? Most of you have actually tried to add the ratios. I mean, you know, if the ratio of milk to water is 8 is to 5, here I can say the fraction of milk is 8 out of 13. Here the fraction of milk is 5 out of 7. And then maybe you have applied allocation rule, assuming that both the vessels are of equal quantity. You know, when you simplify this, you will get 121 is to 61 as the answer. Final answer is 121 is to 61. When? When you assume that both the vessels are of equal capacity. Remember, assume when you, only when you assume, you will get the answer as 120-61. But where is it given in the question? Has it been given anywhere in the question that the two vessels A and B are of equal capacity? Only when it says two vessels are of equal capacity or both of the quantities are equal or if the ratio of the quantities are given, then only you can find out the final answer. Now, how to get 121 is to 61? I am not going to explain because there are videos and allegations and mixtures. You can watch those videos to find out how to get the new ratio when the two individual ratios are given to us. But my question is, in this particular case, you cannot do that because we have not been given any data about the ratio of the quantities. Q1 is to Q2 is not given. Either he should say both of them are equal, 1 is to 1, or he should give the uh, original ratio for us to be able to solve the question. So anybody who has got 121 and 61 as the answer to this question is wrong. The answer is cannot be determined. Incomplete question or answer cannot be determined because the ratio of quantities has not been specified.